Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our ninth lesson on a given form 4 mathematics topic called differentiation. So we are looking at our 16th example, which is a past cases equation tested in 203, paper 2 question number 21. But Eroman 1 reads that, find the coordinates of the stationary points on the curve y is equals to x cubed minus 3x plus 2. So in part Eroman 1, they want us to find the coordinates of the stationary points. So we know that uh, at the stationary points, so at the stationary uh, points or at the turning points, uh, at the stationary uh, points, the derivative dy dx must always be equal to 0. Therefore, you're going to find the gradient function or the dy dx for the given uh, curve, which will be equal to I differentiate the first part, of course, the 3 will pre-multiply the coefficient. So this will be 3x to the power of 3, we subtract 1 from the power. Then this will be minus, it means this was x power 1. So the 1 will pre-multiply the coefficients to get negative 3 multiplied by 1, x to the power of 1 minus 1. Then this means it was uh, x power 0, so that x power 0 is 1, 1 times 2, it remained to be 2. So of course the power will pre-multiply the coefficient, so we'll have positive 2 multiplied by 0, x to the power of 0 minus 1. Therefore our dy dx uh, will be equal to, this will be 3, x to the power of 2, then minus 3, x to the power of 0, then of course uh, the last term will disintegrate to 0, because 0 multiplied by anything will be 0. So it means that our dy dx uh, will be equal to uh, 3x squared, then minus 3, because x power 0 is 1, 1 times negative 3 will get negative 3. And we are saying that at the stationary point, the gradient function should always be equal to 0. Therefore, we say uh, dy dx, which is equal to 3x squared uh, minus 3, should be equal to 0, that is at the stationary point. Therefore, I'm going to pick uh, this part of the equation so that I can solve uh, for the values of x. So 3x squared minus 3 is equal to 0 can be written as 3x squared is equal to uh, 3. I will divide through by 3. I also divide through uh, by 3. Of course, the uh, two 3s are going to cancel out. So this one simply implies that the value of uh, x squared so our x squared will be equal to uh, 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 3, 1. 1 divided by 1 will get 1. So to get the value of uh, x, I'm going to take square roots on both sides of the equation. Remember the square root of a number is always plus or minus. Therefore, it means that our x will be equal to plus or minus 1. Therefore, it means that x is equal to a uh, positive 1 and the other value of x will be equal to negative 1. Therefore, these are the x coordinates at the stationary points. Now, having gotten the x coordinates, we need to have the y coordinate. Remember, the original equation was uh, given as y is equal to, this was uh, x cubed, it was x cubed minus uh, 3x, then of course, uh, plus 2. So we say, when x is equal to positive 1, y will be equal to, we'll have positive 1, a cubed, then minus 3 into positive 1, then of course plus 2, which will be equal to 1 cubed will just give us 1, then negative 3 times 1 will get negative 3, then of course plus 2. So this will be equal to uh, negative 2 uh, plus 2, which of course is going to give us uh, 0. Therefore, it means that the value of y will be equal to 0 whenever x is positive 1. Therefore, our first turning point or stationary point will be uh, positive 1, then of course, comma, 0. Then we compute the second uh, turning uh, point, that is whenever x is equal to uh, negative 1. Therefore, you're going to say that uh, when, x, uh, when x is equal to the second value, which was uh, negative 1, the equation was y is equal to uh, x cubed uh, minus 3x, then of course, plus 2. So that means y will be equal to x is negative 1 uh, cubed, then minus 3 into negative 1, then plus 2. So this will be equal to negative 1 cubed will give us negative 1, 
negative 3 times negative 1 will get positive 3, then plus 2. So this will be equal to negative 1 plus 3 will get a positive 2, then plus 2, of course, which will give us a positive 4. Therefore, the second turning point will be negative 1, comma, 4. Therefore, our stationary points, the stationary uh, points, or what we are calling the turning points, will be, the first one will be 1, comma, 0, and the second stationary point will be equal to negative 1, uh, 4. So those are the stationary points of the given uh, curve. Then we look at A, Roman 2 of the question, whereby we are told to, uh, for each stationary point determined, uh, that is determine whether it is a maximum point or a minimum point. Of course, they just want us to show uh, the nature of the stationary points. Remember we said that d squared y over dx squared, if it gives us a positive value, then we are dealing with a minimum point. If d squared y over dx squared uh, gives us a negative value, it means that you are dealing with a maximum point. Then if d squared y over dx squared gives us a zero, it means that you are dealing with a point of inflection. Therefore, uh, we need dy dx so that we can get the d squared y over dx squared. So clearly, uh, dy dx from part A was given by, this was our dy dx, 3x squared uh, minus 3. So this was 3x squared minus 3. Therefore, the second derivative, which is uh, d squared y over dx squared, will be equal to, so we differentiate this one, the 3 will pre-multiply with the coefficient. So we'll have 3 multiplied by 2, x to the power of 2 minus 1. Then this one means it was x power 0, so the 0 will pre-multiply the coefficient. So we'll have negative 3 times 0, x to the power of 0 minus 1. So this will be equal to 3 by 2, that will be 6, x to the power of 1, then minus 3 multiplied by 0, then of course x power negative 1. But 0 multiplied by anything will just be 0. Therefore, we'll remain with 6x as our second derivative. Therefore, we test our points, that is the stationary points. The first one was uh, 1, 0, so we test uh, 1, uh, 0. So clearly the value of x will be 1 when y is 0. Therefore, d squared y over dx squared at the point when x is equal to 1 will be equal to a 6x. Of course, our x is 1, so this will give us a positive 6. Remember we said that whenever you get a positive value, it means that the point was minimum. It was a minimum point. Therefore, we'll say that since, uh, since d squared y over dx squared is a positive value, since it is a positive uh, a positive uh, value, it simply follows that the point 1 comma 0, the point 1 comma 0 is a minimum. It was a minimum. Uh, this was a minimum uh, point or simply what we call a minima. It was a minima. Whenever the sign is positive of the second derivative is positive, then it means you are dealing with a minimum uh, point as indicated in this equation. Then we test the second point. The second turning point was uh, negative 1, 4. So we had um, negative 1, comma, 4. Clearly, the value of x will be negative 1, then y will be 4. Therefore, d squared y over dx squared, which gave us uh, 6x, will be given by d squared y over dx squared at the point when x is equal to negative 1 will be equal to 6 into negative 1, which clearly is going to give us negative 6. So clearly, we are getting a negative value, meaning that we are dealing with a maximum uh, point. Therefore, we are going to say that uh, synth, so we'll say that synth uh, d squared y over dx squared is negative. Uh, since you are getting a negative value, it simply follows that the point negative 1, 4, uh, negative 1, uh, comma 4 is a maximum point. This was a maximum uh, point. Remember, a maximum point is also called a maxima. It is also called a maxima. Therefore, we've identified the nature of our turning points. 1, 0 is minimum and negative 1, 4 is a maximum point. 
Then we look at uh, part B of the question, whereby we are told that in the space provided, uh, sketch the curve. So of course, to sketch the curve, we need the maximum, the minimum point, and the intercepts. Therefore, uh, let's get the intercepts of this particular uh, given curve. So I can start with the x uh, intercept. So I'll say that at the x intercept, at the x uh, intercept, uh, the y coordinate must be equal to zero. Therefore, the equation which was given as y is equals to uh, x cubed minus 3x then plus 2. Of course, this will be zero is equals to uh, x cubed minus 3x plus uh, 2. So this equation can be written as x cubed minus 3x plus 2 is equals to zero, which I can rewrite as uh, x cubed minus 3x is equals to negative 2. Then I'll factor out um, my x. So remember, this is how we solve our cubic equations. Huh? So I'll factor out x. So I'll have x into, uh, this will be x squared, then minus a 3 being equal to negative 2. So I can form a bracket here. So this one means uh, either. It means either x is equals to negative 2, or it can also mean that uh, x squared minus 3 is equals to negative 2. That is the second uh, bracket. So this one simply means that x squared will be equal to negative 2 plus 3. So clearly x squared will be equal to a positive 1. Then I take square roots on uh, both sides. Of course, the square root is uh, always plus or minus. Therefore, it means that uh, my second uh, value of uh, x, so x will also be given by, so x will be plus or minus uh, 1. Therefore, it means that my uh, x intercepts will be given by, so x will be negative 2, x is also equal to positive 1, x is also equal to negative 1. If we needed the coordinates, the coordinates will be negative 2, 0, uh, positive 1, uh, 0, and negative 1, 0. So these are the x-intercepts of the curve. We also need the y-intercept of the curve. So we'll say that at the y-intercept, at the y-intercept, uh, that is a point where the curve cuts the y-axis, the x-coordinate must be equal to 0. Therefore, the equation y is equal to x uh, cubed minus a 3x plus 2 will be equal to, so x is 0, so this will be 0 cubed, then minus 3 into 0, then plus 2, which will be equal to 0, minus 0 plus 2, which of course will give us a positive 2. So it means that our y-intercept is a positive a 2. Now, having gotten the intercepts, and of course we have the turning points, we can easily sketch our curve. So to sketch our curve, I'm going to have my intercepts here, the y-intercept, uh, and also that is the y-axis, and also the x-axis. Uh, Based on the points that I'm having, I don't need a very large uh, scale. I only need a scale that can accommodate my given point. So this is the x, uh, this is also x, then of course uh, this is the y-axis, that is our y-axis. So for the x, I need up to a maximum of 2, so I'll have it uh, this way. So I'll let this to be my positive 1, then this to be positive 2, then of course I'll have negative 1, then I'll have a negative 2. So on the y, I need up to a maximum of uh, 4, so this will be 1, uh, 2, then of course uh, 3, then this will be uh, 4, 3 up to 4. I can add 1 so that I have up to a maximum of a 5. I can have a negative 1 here. So let me start by sketching uh, the turning points that I was given uh, on the curve. So my turning points were two. The first one was um, I had uh, one zero, which was a minimum point. So one zero will lie here. So this is positive one, then zero. So this will be my first uh, turning point. So clearly one zero was uh, a minimum point. Uh. So if it was a minimum point, it means that my curve is going to pass at this particular point in this particular manner, such that this is a minimum uh, point or the lowest possible point. The second turning point was um, uh, I had uh, a maximum point, which was uh, negative 1, 4. So I'm going to plot negative 1, 4. So negative 1 clearly is uh, here, then positive 4. This is negative 1, 4. My 4 is uh, somewhere here. So the second coordinate will be here, negative 1, 4. 
So clearly negative 1, 4 was uh, a maximum pointer. Therefore, I need to draw it, uh, my curve such that uh, negative 1, 4 is the highest uh, possible point on this particular curve this way. Then I had my y-intercept, which was y is equals to 2. So which is uh, this particular point here. Remember y is equals to 2. This is like saying 0, 0,2. So which is this point here. So this is my y-intercept. That is a point where the curve is going to cut the uh, y-axis. So I can uh, make this one to be uh, properly drawn. So I can have it uh, this way. So it must pass through the point 2. Then of course it moves in the other direction. Then my x-intercept I had a negative 2. So negative 2 is uh, this point here. So my curve can move up to a uh, negative 2. So this is what we are calling the uh, maxima or the maximum uh, point. This is what we are calling the minima or the minimum point. Then of course this is what we are calling the y-intercept. This is our y-intercept. And of course, clearly, this is our x-intercept. Uh, this is our x-intercept. So that is the sketch of the curve. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.